Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. We begin tonight with the bombshell in the Church of Scientology as one of its highest profile members turns on the controversial religion. Now, a young woman with family ties to the leader of Scientology. <laughs> the niece of the head of the organization is going public with what it's like inside. I was brainwashed, you know, that's, the church was my life and I wanted to stay there. She was once part of the first family of Scientology. Now she's out and speaking out against it. The secrets of the Sea Org. The Sea Organization, you're not allowed to have children. Wow. The family separations. From when I was 12 until I was 18, I only saw my mom twice total. Bizarre rituals. Auditing is sort of Scientology's form of counseling. Mysterious leader. Is he an evil man? Yes. And what really goes on with all those celebrities? The Scientology experience that celebrities experience is completely different. Last year, it was Katie Holmes who escaped the clutches of Scientology and her husband Tom Cruise, taking baby Suri with her. Now it's the leader's own family. Yes, we have an utter monopoly on workable solutions. Jenna Miscavige is the niece of Scientology boss David Miscavige. After a lifetime in the church, she's escaped and written a tell-all book about her secret life in Scientology. I have to ask you, are you worried about the reaction the church has to your book? I definitely don't live in fear of the church. I mean, I know my book tells the truth mm -hmm. and I'm just happy that it's out there. Every time we hear from Priscilla Presley, Kirstie Alley, John Travolta and Scientology's pin-up boy Tom Cruise, they have nothing but good things to say about the religion. Being Scientologist, you look at someone and you know absolutely that you can help them. So why do so many former members tell horror stories of abuse, manipulation and demands for money? The Scientology experience that celebrities experience is completely different than the average public Scientologist. For one thing, they have their own church, which is so much more beautifully decorated alone than every other church. I would say one of the main things is that they're not constantly bombarded for requests for donations or... They're not? No, they're not. Not in the way that the average public Scientologist really? is. Your uncle, David Miscavige, is the leader of the Church of Scientology. Mm -hmm. Did you have much to do with him through this period? I mean, I definitely saw him throughout. I had a closer relationship with his wife, my Aunt Shelley, and I definitely spent many, I mean, I definitely saw her far more than I saw my own mom. Jenna's parents were Scientologists and became members of the secret Sea Organization when she was two. By the time she was six, Jenna was placed into a special camp for Sea Org children. From the time I, I went to the ranch, actually a little bit before, from when I was four until I was 12, I generally saw my parents only once a week, and it was only for a few hours on okay. Sunday morning. And what about the time when you left the church when you were 21? How often did you see them? From when I was 12 until I was 18, I only saw my mom twice total. From the time you were 12 till you were 18? Yes, yes. And um, from the time that, yeah, also from when I was 12 till I was 18, I saw my dad about four times, and two of those times were for less than an hour. Like all Sea Org members, Jenna had to sign a billion year loyalty contract to the church. She says she was made to work like a slave at the secret camp. Now, at the Church of Scientology, they gave us these pictures of the ranch that we're seeing right now. Now, I, I gotta say, it looks really pretty, it looks no, great, it looks normal. Mm -hmm. It looks like a camp. So what was yeah. your typical day at this ranch? You know, the things that it shows in the picture, like for example, those dressers, we varnished all of them. The rock walls that you might have seen, we hauled the rock. So the reason the ranch is so beautiful is because we, the children, worked four hours every single day and we made it that way. Isn't that against the law, child labor laws and all? Yeah. So you, you basically were building that ranch? Yes, every day for four hours. Previously, we've reported how Tom Cruise's adopted children, Connor and Isabella, could also be joining the Sea Org. Isabella's musician boyfriend, Eddie Frencher, was signed up last year, and according to Scientology rules, if she wants to stay with him, B 
Bella will have to sign up to. A large portion of your book talks about being audited. And you yourself wanted to be an auditor. What, what is an auditor? What, is it, what, what does an auditor do? I mean, auditing is sort of Scientology's form of counseling, where you sit in a room with another person and the subject is hooked up to the e-meter, which is similar to a lie detector. Your parents eventually break out of the church, but you're left in there. How did that feel to you? I had sort of built my life around my friends and I was brainwashed, you know, that's, the church was my life and I wanted to stay there. But eventually Jenna's time came in 2005 when she too decided enough was enough. I could no longer look away from the abuse, the mental, the physical, verbal, and I just realized that I wasn't helping anyone and the people there weren't happy and I wasn't happy and that I had to get out. With so many members leaving the church, it's little wonder that earlier this week it spent $8 million to run this slick recruitment ad during the US Super Bowl. I would say the worst part of Scientology is that, you know, it's their doctrine or the highway, which is what is so ironic about that Super Bowl ad. You know, it talks about how, um, you know, seekers of knowledge and think for yourself, but you can't think for yourself when you're there. The church told us it will not discuss matters involving Jenna Miscavige. They note that claims in her book about her schooling are dramatically at odds with the recollections of 30 of her classmates and said they considered some of her account dubious. Their full statement is on our website.